Hey everyone, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about Okazaki experiment. In late 1950s and 1960s, scientists believed that the replication of both the DNA strands occur in continuous form. However, DNA polymerase with only 5' prime to 3' prime activity was discovered. There was no DNA polymerase with 3' prime to 5' prime activity. So there was a hypothesis that the synthesis of one of the strands should occur in a discontinuous fashion. The discontinuous strand was given the term the lagging strand, while the strand whose synthesis occur in continuous fashion is called the leading strand. One way to detect leading strand and lagging strand is to treat the replicating DNA with alkali like NaOH. The alkali breaks hydrogen bonding between the strands. As a result, both of them get separated. And once they are separated, they can be detected by density gradient centrifugation. So here's what Okazaki did. He grew E. coli cells and pulsed them with 1H3 thiamine. Samples were withdrawn at different time intervals, treated with alkali to separate both the strands, and analyzed by sucrose density gradient centrifugation. After centrifugation, radioactivity was checked from top to the bottom of the tube. The radioactivity on the top will indicate the presence of small DNA fragments or the lagging strand, while that on the bottom will indicate the presence of leading strand. The presence of small DNA fragments indicated that the hypothesis was correct. Synthesis of one of the strands does occur in a discontinuous fashion. And with an increase in time, the amount of leading strand or the continuous strand increases. This means the ends of the lagging strands are now joined to form a continuous strand.